Has this ever happened to you? Did it make you wonder why anyone would ever use a corkscrew maneuver on their missiles? Well, let me tell you why you should consider it. It's locked on. Flak point defense turrets Standard work by using the ship's sensors to predict the path of the missile, then placing flak the rounds in the away. way, creating a sort of wall of explosions. This need to predict the path of the missile causes them to become useless when faced with a corkscrewing flight path. Low missiles reported. In fact, all ballistic type point defense can be almost completely nullified using this maneuver, making it quite powerful at We're penetrating defenses. Commander. But what about that whole missing thing? What's the point of getting through point defense if the missile is just going to whiz past? Turns out, that might just be a skill issue. There's three main factors that will contribute to your corkscrew missile failing to connect. The size and movement speed of the target, the strength of the missile's guidance track on the target, and the maneuverability of the missile. The first one's pretty self-explanatory. A smaller, faster target is harder to hit, and will require the other two factors to be robust in order to overcome this challenge. The third factor is also fairly straightforward. When you design your missile, you'll need to tweak its fuel until it can reliably turn fast enough to follow the type of target you want it to hit. The second factor is a little trickier to pin down. For the sake of demonstration, I'm going to use a command-guided missile. Unlike other types of seekers, command-guided missiles are controlled by the ship and aimed at a sensor track, meaning that the strength of the missile's guidance depends on the strength of the sensor track you're firing at. If I turn off my parallax radar on my cruiser, and use only the spyglass radar on my frigate, this sensor track now has an absolutely atrocious positional error due to the spyglass's technical characteristics. You can see this visualized by the bouncing dots around the sensor track. The further they are from the box, the worse the positional error. Firing any command-guided missile at this target will cause you to almost certainly fail to hit, especially if the missile has to do a fancy maneuver. You can counteract this completely by having someone maintain a target lock while the missile is guided in, vastly increasing the accuracy of the shot. This same principle appears to apply to other missile guidance, except that the missile seeker head is using its own sensors to guide itself. Certain seekers are better at fancy maneuvers than others, particularly the steerable active radar missiles, since the sensor on their nose is capable of pointing at the target independently of the missile's heading. Overall, most types of seeker heads seem pretty darn good at this, which makes me believe that people complaining of the core screw's accuracy problems are probably undertuning their missile's maneuverability in favor of speed or range. Which is perfectly fine, so long as you're aware that you'll have to defeat point defense in some other way. It really just comes down to what capabilities are acceptable to you for the price you're paying.